Another night in Mariupol and another mangled body on a stretcher. These are the victims of Russian bombardment, brought in by paramedics and the army, fighting to save lives in a city under siege. Yulia Payevska, nicknamed Tyra, is one of those medics. And this is a look into her daily life. One, two, three, up. Captured by a camera she strapped to her head, Tyra and her team of paramedics, nicknamed Tyra's Angels, based in Mariupol, tending to the city's wounded. Payevska, a star athlete and military veteran who competed in the Invictus Games, was hailed as a national hero back in Ukraine. But on March the 16th, she was captured by Russian soldiers and disappeared along with her driver, Serhi. Miraculously, just days before, she managed to hand hundreds of gigabytes of footage to the last Associated Press journalist leaving the city. She gave instructions via a walkie-talkie. On the flash drive that has been given to you, there is information about all the injured people from the beginning to this moment. The journalist smuggled the footage through 15 Russian checkpoints by hiding it in a tampon. The videos show an incredible glimpse into humanity amidst the brutality of war. In one clip, Payevska encounters Ukrainian resistance fighters who have captured a group of Russian soldiers. She manages to calm their aggression, even wrapping one prisoner of war in a blanket. Outside, she has a frank conversation with civilians standing nearby. They will not be as kind to us. Of course not. Will you treat these Russians? I cannot do otherwise. They are prisoners of war. Payevska's capture is one of hundreds of forced disappearances of Ukrainians since the war began. The Russian government has not officially acknowledged her capture, but Russian state-controlled network RTV posted a video on March 21st, which appears to show a captive Payevska calling for the end of hostilities. Russian media has attempted to portray Payevska as a member of the far-right Azov Battalion, but her fellow paramedics say that's not true. I cannot say that she's some kind of radical or Nazi, he says. She's like a real medic, apolitical, and helps everyone who needs it. Despite two months with no contact from Tyra, her friends and family remain hopeful she will return. I believe she will return. We will do our best. Each of us will do everything to make sure they come back whole. The face of a Ukrainian hero providing the world a rare look at the face of war. And Cal Perry joins us now live from Kyiv tonight. Cal, that's, that's extraordinary video. I don't know if we've seen a story yet like this from this war. And, and Tyra has, has quite the following there in Ukraine, correct? Yeah, the entire country, Tom, is following this story and tracking her progress, hoping she'll be released. She was a hero before the war. The Maidan Revolution in 2014 here in Kyiv is what made this country a fledgling democracy. She treated hundreds of protesters there, and she's saved hundreds of soldiers' lives since, Tom. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.